and welcome back to the channel, PJ Ground Pounder. Hey, when I tell you it went south on me today with that motorcycle, it went south. I was wrapping it up. I had very little things to do, and I was kind of just, just fiddling around with it. I thought I'd check the reservoir and clean them out, flush that. Took care of that, uh, put the front brakes on, and all I had what left was the primary that I didn't finish previously. So I uh, took the plug out to drain the primary, and uh, that went well. And I put the plug back in there, and I hit a little hard spot. The screw was straight. It was going in straight. It went in straight, all of that. But I hit a little hard spot, and then it went on up in there. But I, when I bagged it back out, it came out with the uh, threads on it um, from the case. And, uh, oh, it was miserable. But uh, after trying to, I figured I'd try a larger bolt, and then I didn't want to mess with it. So I called uh, Hutch, who's a very good mechanic, called him. He said he knows exactly what happened, bring the bike on by. Uh, but, I mean, that was like a four-hour process before I even got to that. So I actually thought this trip was over for me. I let my buddies know. Uh, so just check it out and uh, enjoy. Okay, basically this is, uh, I'm up at the front of the bike now. This is the uh, front brakes, uh, changing the pads here. Okay. As you can see, I got the new new pads, my little anti-squeak there. That's just the uh, screen that came off of the caliper. I uh, used the needle nose to pull the little pin out, uh, screwdriver to pop that black uh, screen up and there's my socket to take the bolts off and i have here my allen uh to take the uh screw out that holds the uh actual brake pads in uh first set looks beautiful nicely done there i love it so first side in looking good getting ready man got the bags and stuff back on the bike uh, tank back on the bike. So we good to go. We almost out of here. Okay, another item you might want to check is your uh, brake fluid. Flushing that system, uh, cleaning out the reservoir here. You said I've already started that process. And uh, then we'll go over there to the clutch. These are not must do's. It's just something I'm doing because of the, the uh, trip in which I'm getting ready to take. Uh, I need to make sure that everything is is up to par and I can have full confidence in my bike. But as we know, there's always something unforeseen that happens, but we do the best we can uh, to not have anything happen. You know, check the fluid reservoir, uh, flush that system, make sure you don't have trash in it. Uh, Got my oils put in, filters, my helmet will go right here, my spare helmet. And then uh, I'll put my uh, rain suit and stuff over the top of everything and close it down. All right, we're still getting ready. We're just about done here. Uh, bike's about ready to go. So y'all gonna laugh at this one. I was up under the center of my bike here, uh, just checking this cable and stuff for the clutch. But I see something right here, right? I think I'm missing a screw there. Yeah. So anyway, I see something right here and I'm like, what is this? See it right there? That's a pistachio. <laughs> Don't tell it how long that been in there, but I had a pistachio lodged up in there, y'all. Look at that. Eat the ride. Lord have mercy. All right. My bike is actually behind me. One of the club brothers got it on the trailer. Evidently, when I put my um, primary plug back in the bottom, uh, I had to have been putting it too tight. Um, so what happened when I went to change my primary fluid uh, a couple of hours ago? Uh, the threads came out with the uh, with the bolt. 
So yeah, the threads is ruined. So in that in that casing, in the inner primary. So you talking about super stress? But anyway, uh, called a good friend, good mechanic. We'll do a video on him when I get here. Hutch, good guy. So Blackie came and picked up my bike, and uh, he's following me right now to the mechanic. And uh, so we gonna get the bike over here. So it's a real uh, emergency, and I'm just happy that he know me. Cause he was like, PJ, I know exactly what you're going through. You love to ride too much. I know exactly what's happening. He said, bring it on right now. Uh, it's better to tow it because I had a, a little quick fix, but it wouldn't have been nothing that I could have used on the road, but it would have got me to his house. But he was like, get in here with the oil cooled off and uh, that'd be better. We don't have to wait on it. So I waited for that, uh, Blackie to come get me. I tell you, I, I was outside cutting my yard edge and just the nervous energy. Uh, but anyway, so we headed over to Hutch's right now, and we gonna get this bike fixed. My wife stopped me. She ran downstairs. She was like, honey, let's pray. And we prayed, and uh, she brought up a few things about timing and, you know, and all of that there, and everything is meant for a reason. Uh, I'm going to keep pushing, but at the same time, I'm going to listen to that still small voice. So I'm going to keep going, get the bike going, head it over here to Hutch's. I hope everything works out. like a Anyway, that's it. Just sharing with you guys. Just really jacked up right now in a bad way. So uh, we'll get back to you at the mechanic shop. Right. Hey, man. The motorcycle doctors is here, man. I just don't know, man. He'll hey. tell you and he'll fix you. Hey, it just it's just a blemish. Yeah. He'll be back on the road for 30 days. Yeah. No and this dude is awesome. I didn't even think I was gonna get to him. I called him panicking, man. Uh I got one more day for I could I gotta get out of here and get down to Miami. And then the fun begins. And uh he just happened to just to see. He gonna hopefully we can do it. And uh, we just keep praying for us, man. But this hutch down there on it right now, very, very, very top to bottom, put your bike together mechanic. Sharp guy, i.e. check him out. Okay, YouTubers, as you can see, he uh, I didn't go through his whole process, uh, but he went ahead and got it straight, cleaned and it out. Re out of the time, sir. Yep, and uh, he just went ahead and got it right, y'all. I mean, uh, it's, it's back like new, but that plug was a deal that we had. Everything in here is looking pretty good and tight, he says. So we good to go. 15,000 miles, here we come. Gas it up. Might as well gas up now since we're gonna hit that freeway. Got it all fixed. Ha ha, ready to ride, y'all. Let's get it on. <laughs>